All right, hi everyone, this is Ms. Berlanga. Uh, today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, the simulation, which is on ck12.org. So the simulation is going to show us what the temperature of water is doing as it's going through the different phase changes that we've been looking at in class. So let's get started. Okay, here in the simulation, I wanna point out a few things to you before we begin. Over here in the middle, we've got our container of water. It's going to be in various states. Here, you can probably guess the solids kind of look like ice. But down here below our container of water is the phase, the current state of matter that we are in. Over here on the upper right hand corner tells us the current temperature of our water. So right now our cup of ice is at negative 50 degrees Celsius. And then over here in the upper left hand corner, we've got a graph which shows us temperature versus heat. Now the heat we're not really so much interested in, but we are interested in the temperature, uh, especially what it's doing, where is it at in the different phases, uh, and what happens to that temperature as we go in and out of those phase changes. And then finally down here at the bottom, we've got our starting state and final state. So what we're going to do first is we're going to start by looking at water that starts out as a solid, and we're going to heat it up until it gets all the way into a gas. So let's go ahead and look and see what that looks like. All right, so you can see the temperature is already uh, rising, right? We've got our ice that's starting to melt. The molecules that are in the water as opposed to the ice are moving faster and faster. And as you can see over here on the left-hand side of this temperature graph, uh, the temperature of the water leveled out as the ice was melting. But now that all the ice is melted, it is rising again. And if we look at how quickly the molecules are moving, the molecules are moving more and more quickly, the more heat we are adding to it. And the temperature is continuing to rise, continuing to rise. So it's a liquid now. And here in a little bit, it's going to level out at 100 degrees Celsius. And at this point, you might guess it's going to turn from a liquid into a gas. And so right here, what this is showing us is vaporization, right? So we've got water molecules that are turning from a liquid into a gas or leaving the liquid part of the cup. They're going up into the steam. We've got all the steam over here. These water molecules just escaping. And we're going to continue and watch it as the energy continues to be added to our cup of water. But now you can see there's no water left in our cup. It's left the cup, and now we have gas just around in uh, the air around this cup. So let's go ahead and pause the simulation. And now we're just gonna look at the reverse situation. So we're gonna start out with a gas, and we want to end up with a solid. And again, we wanna pay attention to the temperatures that we see at the different phases, and particularly when they go from one phase to another. So again, notice we start out with a gas, our temperature is 100, and 50 degrees Celsius. So let's get this simulation rolling. All right, our temperature is dropping. Okay, our, our water molecules are moving very quickly. But now you can see that the gas is starting to turn to a liquid. Our cup is filling up with water and our temperature is at 100 degrees Celsius and it's leveled out right here in this graph. Now it's continuing to uh, fall again and it's still in a liquid phase at this point. So we're just taking our liquid water, making it more and more and more cold. And now it's getting really close to zero degrees Celsius. At this point, you should start to see, there we go, some ice is forming. The water molecules are locking up. And then once the ice is completely frozen, everything in the cup, all that water is completely frozen, then uh, the temperature stops leveling out and it starts dropping again. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause that. So again, what we looked at were the phase changes and how temperature changed every time we went. Uh, we started out at a solid. We went from a solid to a liquid, liquid to a gas, and then we did the reverse. We went from gas to liquid, then liquid to solid, and we saw the different temperatures at each of those phase changes. 